All right, so right now I'm on my way to the Sebastian Skate Park to meet my buddy Kevin. Uh, you might have seen Kevin in the video where he is showing off his tubs and his setup inside his apartment. And uh, he's also a skateboarder like me. And we're gonna go kind of have some fun at the uh, Sebastian Skate Park. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit hot and I just rolled my ankle pretty bad a few weeks ago. So I'm hoping that I can do a few things, um, but it's just too nice of a day and I, I really miss skateboarding. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get something. So after doing the skate park for a little bit, uh, cooling off, hitting this little stream ditch, I think. I think stream's kind of prettying it up a little bit, but uh, this little roadside ditch, looking for some turtles, see what we find. And uh, just kind of following Kevin, letting him lead the way. Kevin break on the spider webs. All right, so walking this creek, look down and there's a snapper sitting in the old ambush position. Uh, kind of lined itself up with this stick gonna kind of wait for smaller stuff to kind of swim through here pop that head up and grab it so this is probably about an eight or nine inch uh, Florida snapping turtle kind of see the head right there not the best view of it we'll pull it out get a better look at it oh you're tough look how tough you are Woo. that's a pretty turtle nice Florida snapping turtle guys have the long tubercles on the head and neck kind of gives them a different look from the regular common snapping turtles up where I live and a little bit more of a sculpted shell as well always fun to find these guys uh, you've probably seen these before on my channel I have some pet ones but seeing a wild one kind of in habitat even if it's a ditch always awesome See how well she blends in with the bottom. She can go into those leaves, just bury in and completely disappear. She's just gonna go in there and hide. This is how snappers hide themselves. Just dig right in, find a log jam, and just kind of disappear in there. It's a good little spot. Awesome find. I'm stoked we got that one. All right, see if you can see it. One of the most beautiful turtles in Florida. I think totally underappreciated for their beauty. Um, and just one of the most awesome turtles there is, period. Right here, the striped mud turtle. Look at that amazing pattern. And it's pretty cool because when they line up with these sticks and stuff, it's really easy to walk right past them. That is an absolutely beautiful turtle. Awesome in situ. See, it's gonna go hide in these sticks. If you didn't know, you'd walk right past that. Doesn't even stand out until you know it's there. Totally awesome turtle. Look at that, striped mud turtle. Now I have some of these guys at home, but mine definitely don't come close to the beauty of these guys here in the, the more southern end of Florida. This one has like both the light and the dark patterning. And it's just a, a classic striped mud turtle. Super stoked. This is, this is what I came to see. I love these guys. Awesome. Look at that color. Just the, the way it matches the sand. So awesome. Such an awesome turtle. Gonna release her into this shallow, clear water. Run along, young girl.
Well, I'm gonna give her the personal space to run along. These guys are really shy, so I don't wanna stress it out too much. But really stoked, got to see the striped mud turtle on this trip. Super, super stoked. And a really pretty one to boot, that's awesome. Got a cooter right here. Looks like a uh, red belly. Grab this guy. Oh, come on, hold on. Yeah, look at that guy. That's a pretty old male Florida red belly. Pretty orange shell. Got the long claws. Lots of algae on the top. But overall, not bad. There you go, buddy. Back to where you were. Go brown water snake. Check that guy out. Whoop. Cool looking catfish. Wow. I think that's one of the Asian walking catfish. Trying to hide. All right, next turtle, male peninsula cooter. He's got a little bit of staining, so it makes his shell look a little bit darker, kind of more like a red belly, but this is a peninsula cooter. You can tell by the hairpins on the top of the head and the uh, pretty clean patterned shell. Some people down in Florida call these yellow-bellied sliders, but they are cooters. Uh, there's a big difference between a cooter and a slider, and these guys are pretty classic as far as cooters go. He's got that aerodynamic shape, super long straight nails like other male cooters and a pretty good sized tail. So he's probably out eating a little bit and maybe looking for some girls to come cruising through because that's what guys do. That's right. Look at all the amphipods. Yeah, and there's all kinds of stuff on there. Your back could feed all the fish in my aquariums. <laughs> you wanna release them? Yep, let's put them back in the water. Against the flow. Strong turtle. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the uh, non native invasive geckos that live here in Florida. There's also Tokay geckos and Asian house geckos, but I'm pretty sure this is a Mediterranean gecko. You can see he's got some spines and stuff on the tail. Uh, we're not going to touch or really do anything with this guy, but I did want to show you one of the invasives that does live in Florida. Pretty much anything can make a home here, and that's kind of what's happened with a lot of the reptiles. Uh, but really awesome looking gecko. I love those big eyes. They're pretty neat looking. Florida red belly. Making its way across the bottom. Look at that. Wow, look at that shell on this Florida red belly. See that pattern on his shell, it's just so reticulate. What's up, buddy? There's an older gent just kind of cruising around on the bottom. Good looking turtle. Yeah. Look at that. That is some astounding color, and you can see ugh, bugs on me. Look at that pattern, so bizarre. You can see he's got orange on his legs. Just really, really pretty. So Kevin was just saying that he'll find cooters next to each other and that male we just released saw a little foot and, and this male was actually right next to him. So, gonna let this guy go since he's ready to jump back in. There he goes. Awesome 
One water snake. Big one too. I'm going to hand this to you. I'm going to try to gently pick this snake up. Still recording. Just want to shine it a little bit better. Such a cool snake. Oh, I got you, I got you. Nice. Nice. Big brown water. Is it grabbable? Oh, it's in the sand? Where is it? Sick. His head just went in the hole. Oh my god. So which way is it facing? It's facing that way. Let me just look for anything else real quick. Yeah, damn, damn. Oh, there's damn. another one on the bottom. <laughs> Huge slots, yo. Wow. That's hard to see, but there's a huge soft shell. Okay, here's a shell. Excavate the back so I can get my hand under. Yeah. Uh, got it. Nice. Cool. That is a nice soft shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, nice adult female Florida soft shell. That is awesome. My turtle is so focused on me right now. <laughs> Look at the size of that. That's a good size female Florida. Not certainly not the biggest, but not small by any measure. And uh, just an awesome turtle. I love I love the build of these guys. I'm gonna bring her over here. And look at that. You can hear that hard shell. Take a good look at that face. You can see the lips that cover the jaws. I mean, that's a. You can see inside the mouth. You can see the how the the jaws are just you know kind of hidden in there. And then all this back here is musculature. She uses that for eating little clams and snails and. Crayfish. She was probably sitting there waiting on little crayfish to run by while she was buried in the sand. Just an awesome turtle. That is cool. Very, very nice. I'm stoked. I'm super psyched. This is a great way to end the night. Good sized soft shell after catching all those cooters and we caught a snapper and a musk turtle or, or not, sorry. See, we caught a snapper and a striped mud turtle and then we get to end it on this. I mean, I don't, I don't know if there's a better way to do it.
good scale reference. Gentle underwater. Most aquatic turtles, even the aggressive ones, are really gentle underwater. I just feel like they have more control. He doesn't want them. He won't find any issues with me. It's hard to follow. Ha, ha, ha.